Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today we're diving into the world of delicious country style ribs cooked to perfection on the pit barrel cooker. I'll be sharing some tips to elevate your barbecue game, but before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for more barbecue recipes. If you're ready, I'm ready, then let's go. First things first, selecting the right country style ribs is crucial. Look for well marbled cuts. This will ensure juicy flavorful results every single time. You can choose either pork or beef. Also you can choose bone in or boneless. I prefer bone in ribs for that extra flavor, but sometimes I don't have the time to cook a bone in rib. So today I'm using boneless ribs that came from a pork loin. Earlier I butchered a whole pork loin. And if you aren't familiar with a pork loin, it's a very economical piece of meat. This whole loin cost me about $17. And I'm going to get way more than $17 worth of meals out of this. Anyways, there's two ends. There's a thin end, and this end comes from the section that is nearest to the rib section. And then there's a thick end. This is near the loin area. To get boneless country style ribs from a pork loin, all you have to do is take the thin end of the pork loin, remove it from the rest of the loin. Again, this is the section that is near the rib section. Then you're going to cut that section into thirds, the long way or the length way. You can get two what I call pork tenderloins. And then there's another section that you can use for country style ribs. You're going to take that section that you would use for the country style ribs and you're going to cut some slits within the meat. Make sure not to cut all the way through. And there you have some boneless ribs. Now let's prep these beauties. If you want, you can trim off the, any excess fat. However, there isn't much fat to the meat, so I'm going to leave it on. For the seasoning, add a binder like olive oil, then add your favorite rub. Today, I'm using Fire and Smoke Sweet Preacher Rub. Make sure to get the rub on every inch of the pork ribs. While your ribs soak up the flavors, let's set up the pit barrel cooker. We'll start with a charcoal basket that's three-fourths full. We'll add one full charcoal chimney. So get that charcoal chimney started. Wait for the coals to ash over. There should be a nice blue or light gray smoke. If you have a thick white smoke, the coals aren't ready, so give them some more time. When the coals are ready, pour them right on top of the unlit coals within the charcoal basket. Then put the charcoal basket into the bottom of the pit barrel cooker. Then we'll wait about 10 to 15 minutes while the unlit coals ignite and ash over. Once that happens, we'll add some flavoring wood. I love apple wood as it adds a nice light and fruity smoke flavor to the meat. With our pit barrel cooker ready, it's time to lay those seasoned ribs on the grates. Close the lid and let the magic happen. The pit barrel cooker's design ensures even cooking and that authentic smoky flavor. We'll come in and check on the progress of the ribs in just a little bit. So it's been about 30 minutes and it's time to check in. Since this cut of meat is boneless and lean, it really doesn't take long to reach our desired internal temperature, which is about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, I have reached that temperature and it's only been about 30 minutes. So it's time to remove the ribs from the smoker, but we aren't done just yet. I want to add a texture element to the boneless ribs. Therefore, I'm going to pan sear these ribs inside the house. Start with a pan over medium to medium high heat. Add a layer of oil to the pan. Place the country style ribs into the pan. Allow them to cook for about a minute each side. First thing you're going to notice is that I have sliced the ribs into individual ribs here. Make sure to flip the ribs frequently as this will help them from burning or sticking to the pan. As we enter the final stretch, let's add a layer of our flavored barbecue sauce. Today I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's. This tip adds a glossy finish and that extra burst of flavor. Brush it on generously and you'll thank me later. Allow that sauce to caramelize and become tacky. 
At this point, the rib should be close to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I advise using a meat thermometer to ensure the level of doneness of the meat. After ensuring the internal temperature, we are ready to plate. Remove the ribs from the heat and allow them to rest. After about 10 minutes of resting, plate the ribs next to your favorite side dish, like mashed potatoes. And there you have it, country styled ribs smoked on the pit barrel cooker. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out Smoky Beginnings for our full recipes. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.